I just got the shock of my life. Everything else is, works basically exactly the same. Hey guys, so today I have yet another <laughs> freaking life update. I chose a ton of makeup, which I will show you in a second, and put it all in my freezer. I have just taken it out, truly <laughs> frozen. We have some creams in here, gels, powders, we're gonna see how it all performs. So let's scoot you in while I apply this to see if this is going to be a hot mess or if we can get it to work out. Um, and I'll just give you a little update on what's going on. Okay, so this is all the makeup. It's all in here and here. I couldn't fit it in one. Good luck and see you tomorrow. Eyeshadow primer. This is so cold. Wet and wild one. This is the old one. Ah! Oh my god, it's so frozen. A lot of this is air. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any out. I think I've had to warm it up a little bit in my hand just so I can get it through the tube, but it looks normal. It feels normal. I think it was just maybe there wasn't much in there. Like it feels exactly the same. It doesn't even feel very cold. Let's do my brows because I realized when I sat down, I didn't put any brow products in. The eyeshadow palette I thought I'd use for this is an e.l.f. one that I haven't used before. I feel, feel cold, but pigmented. So this is what we're looking at. Maybe I'll do a neutral with, you know, some, some fun colors or something. Grab these two they feel like normal matte colors just like i said a bit i feel cold they are performing exactly the same while i blend this out bad things come in threes me and my boyfriend are now split up it was his choice i was going a little bit too fast we were trialing living together because we were about to have two weeks off in september I had like people around his house or whatever so i said well if you want you can stay here rather than you know there being five people in one house. Unfortunately, I didn't see it going anywhere. I mean, he did explain it all to me. I just, it's still pretty raw for me. It's still really hard for me to get over. I'm just gonna take this blue, that and the purple, the only kind of deep shades we have. It's been a really, really hard relationship for me to get over. For me, this is gonna sound like the cheesiest thing ever. I genuinely feel like he was the love of my life, that I'm not gonna find anyone so well suited ever again. It's hard for me to talk about because I'm still not over it, still getting upset, I'm still struggling with this decision that he's made. I genuinely thought, and a lot of people that I talk to about it, oh that came out of nowhere. You guys were so happy together and that's what I'm really 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 struggling with is that I've never been that happy I don't think in my whole entire life. It's so hard for me to think I could even find someone that could match up to him. We had exactly the same kind of movie tastes and music tastes. We had the same kind of sense of humour. We loved spending time together. He used to surprise me with things. I used to surprise him with things. Like, I felt like we were on this upward trajectory and then I just got the shock of my life. I'm sure it's probably right for him, but in no way does it feel like it was right for me. A lot of you guys probably aren't into like astrology and readings and things like that, but there's this woman called Estelle who does these tarot card readings. Funnily enough, I went through all of my 2019 tarot card reading after the fact, and it was pretty on point. I don't know if the cold, because it's slightly moist, like spraying a brush, and then packing on a shimmer, it goes on a lot more pigmented. This is great. I was going through my reading and it did say that our first date was on the 31st of May and June and July were gonna be like the best months. And even August, it said it was gonna be pretty good for me. This is June, new starts, new beginnings, very positive, abundant energy there for August. September's gonna be a very different month than I was expecting it to be. September, nights come along when you are in a period of change. And for Pisces, August, you're going to be putting an end to something in your life. You're in September and this is the death card, major life transformation. The ending of something that it was really redundant to be quite honest. You knew it in your heart and soul. She's pretty on the money. This palette did really well. Like I said, the shimmer, like you can almost tell that it looks like I'd wet the shadow. 
I've put two primers. I put a primer spray, which is not going to be usable because I can already feel, because this is part water. Oh, I can't even push this down. Because this is a cucumber spray. It doesn't have the thing on it. Like. <laughs> this is solid. So I'm not going to be able to use this. So this is the CRT Watermelon Burst Primer. And this is like a gel. It com still comes out as a gel. Oh, it's nice and cooling. Imagine putting your primer in the freezer. There was like those skincare kind of fridges. So I wonder if this is similar to that. Because it's a gel, like a water gel, it might be a little more frozen, but it's not. It feels exactly the same, just cold and cooling. I wouldn't normally use a hydrating primer, but I thought that this would be the most interesting. So for foundation, I grabbed the Dream Urban Cover. Okay, it's coming out in like, okay, it was coming out in blobs back hurts because I've been sorting out my bedroom all day. I had like a big plan. Stuff I wanted to do, places we could, me and my now ex, it was horrible to think. Could have gone, like a trip to Brighton, a trip to London because he's never really been there before. It feels like it should be more frozen. It's really cold, obviously, but it hasn't really affected the formula. I would have expected this to affect the formula a lot more. I'm kind of just, I feel weird just going places by myself. I have to get used to that, I know. Especially considering it was something I was hoping and expecting that we were gonna do together. So it feels weird for me to just go by myself. But instead I'm kind of rejigging my whole flat. I've already moved my bed completely. I'm kind of like, I guess almost like feng shuiing. And I'm buying new furniture. Like I was gonna buy a chest of drawers. We were thinking about moving in in September, but I'm still gonna buy it. I'm still gonna buy a chest of drawers because I feel like I kind of need it. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Ooh, it's a bit thicker. It feels like slightly thicker. I haven't used this for a while, so I was gonna mix it up anyway. Oh, that's so cooling under the eye. This isn't a super full coverage concealer, so I'm actually gonna put a lot of amount of concealer on. Like, literally, I'm putting this in and I feel like I can't pick much up. Also, the doe fit is so cold, it's so nice. Just blowing this out. I've been doing the Robert Welsh trick where you only put a little bit of concealer in the corner, like the inner corner, and a little bit on the outside. For powder, I have the ZZ Refreshing Silky Powder, and oh, it's so cooling. It almost feels like the Becca Hydra Powder. Like, if you wanted to know a little bit of what that felt like. It's similar to this because it kind of feels cooling to start off with and then starts to warm up to your skin. Didn't put a loose powder in. I think I just put this in. So let's just put this all over my face to set this masterpiece. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I just set my whole face and I have two cream products. Oh well. So I have the Havana, can you see how like, you can kind of see all of the ice all over it. Oh, that's thick. It is not normally that thick. That <laughs> is freezing cold. I'm gonna use my same foundation brush. Wish me luck. Oh, this bronzer is really pretty, actually. That's not so bad. When I first put it down, it looked terrible. But now that it's warmed up, and actually over the powder, it's not too bad. I thought it'd be like really patchy. How oh, pretty. I have a cream contour stick. Looks okay. Like the contour. Not too shabby at all. I think I have to, I think I have to do this with my fingers. I grabbed an e.l.f. stick. Life is a bit different for me now, unfortunately. This doesn't even feel cold. Like, the packaging feels cold, but this doesn't particularly feel cold. Like, the product feels exactly the same. I was expecting to be possibly moving in. I was expecting to be spending time with him. Like, I was going to be... I was kind of prepared for him possibly not wanting to move in yet. He didn't particularly see himself. I could read him like a book. Maybe I rushed it. Maybe I should have just left things how they were. But then from the readings, it seems like that's possibly what was going to happen anyway. Blush. I grabbed a Milani blush because this one's slightly... It's kind of raised out of the pan. I thought it'd be interesting. I've got Casper hair everywhere. 
Okay, that doesn't even feel cold. It's nice to know that, you know, putting things in the freezer, other than my primer spray, everything else is works basically exactly the same. I'm gonna finish the my lower lash line and then I'll be back. I grabbed the L'Oreal eyeliner. So this is like a felt tip. Oh, it feels dry. I did not put Holy Grails in the freezer because if I ruined those, I would cry. I'm gonna do a line over my eye today. Literally, Casper's hair is in everything. I stupidly still have hope that he's gonna come back to me, but I know that's not the case. He was pretty adamant, I think. I don't think I'm gonna be dating for the rest of this year. I'm gonna use the blue. I put both of my Thrive in here because I know I was probably gonna use a blue or a green in the palette. I did use a little bit of the green on my lower lash line here. I feel like I need to use the blue. It feels the same. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same. <laughs> it doesn't even feel very cold. I'm just gonna go straight in with my mascara. I grabbed the Lash Sensational and put that in the freezer. Um, I guess it was so gooped up. <laughs> this is pretty much a brand new mascara. Fuck! A wand came off! No! <laughs> I'm not going to put mascara on then. Clearly I'm not going to be able to put mascara on today because it has obviously become so frozen in here or mess up the product so much that I don't have a wand. I grabbed a lip liner from Juvia's Place, which is a lot more warm tone than this. I hate this lip liner. Okay, so I don't hate the lip liner. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I don't like the color. The color is warm. I wanted a cool tone lip liner. I got sold this because of this color and I saw Michaela, I think that's her name, on Instagram. She did like a video on Instagram promoting Juvia's Place and it looked a lot more cool tone. It looked like this shade and yet the shade I have is super warm tone. And then I grabbed a liquid lipstick. I grabbed a Colourpop liquid lipstick. I could be a lot more careful with my... Hopefully not pull off anymore. <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, this is in Aquarius. It looks a little thick at the end, but... Feels cold. Then I also have an e.l.f. plumping lip gloss in Pink Cosmo. Ooh, that also looks kind of thicker. Oh, it feels harder to push the product in and get it out. Oh, that's tingling. Ooh. All in all, the only products that didn't really work, the primer. I'm starting to hear something in there, so it's clearly starting to melt. And the mascara is completely destroyed, so I'm gonna have to throw that in the bin. But this was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like doing these challenges. I like being able to sit down and talk to you guys. I have a huge list of challenges that I would like to do or try to do. I'm never going to be able to do the in the dark makeup challenge. I wanted to also just give you that kind of life update. I Unfortunately, my life just doesn't seem to slow down. I'm really saddened that that relationship took that kind of turn. I genuinely feel like that could have been it for the rest of my life and I would have been immensely happy with that. Unfortunately, it seems like he didn't feel the same. I'm sure he did what was best for him. It's gonna take me a long time to get completely get over it. It feels exactly like when my seven year relationship ended. I was completely in shock and I didn't know how I was gonna go on. I didn't know how I would ever meet anyone else. And yet we were only together for just shy of three months. And I feel exactly the same way. My mind and my heart were completely in that relationship for the rest of my life. So I have no clue how to carry on. I'm just gonna take one day at a time. That's all I can do. I don't know that I'm ever gonna find that kind of happiness again. And that scares the shit out of me. I've truly never, ever, ever been that happy. I think one of the reasons is I took some time for myself after the last kind of breakup and I became okay being by myself again. Problem is now I'm used to look forward to him kind of surprising me after work or before work and surprising me with little gifts or, you know, 
those little text messages you receive from your partner and it's gonna take me a while. Life started to really, really revolve around him. I've tried to find new hobbies. I've started drawing again. It's been like 10 years. The people that have reached out to me during this whole thing, I cannot thank you enough. Knowing that I have a support system is incredible. Knowing that anyone cares. I live a decent drive away from at least an hour minimum or an hour's train journey away from everyone I know, everyone I'm close to. So to know that they're there for me even when they can't be physically there for me is so important. That's what kind of sucks in a way sometimes when I live this far away. I know I've chose to live out here. I love living here. I'm not near any of them. I have to find things to do around the house or keep myself busy or find new hobbies kind of thing. It's hard. Like I've got two whole weeks now where I was meant to spend that with the love of my life. I now have to find two whole weeks. That's 16 days. 16 days worth of stuff to do to keep my mind off of it. It's not easy. It won't be easy. It's going to be so difficult. I'll get through it. I always do. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it kind of got depressing. That is my life. If you did enjoy the video or if you liked the challenge, please give this video a like down below. I really, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you feel like it. I have a ton of new videos coming soon. If you are interested in any of that content, which is gonna be a lot of brand reviews, um, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.